I got the fascia mounted on the, uh, the outriggers. Turned out pretty good. This side, I got the profile. It'll have a slight wave to it to follow the terrain. Well, that's the part that I needed to start attaching the hills and stuff to because there's nothing behind here to attach to. So I have to put that up. Hopefully the track is uh, fairly bulletproof. Wrapped around. And this tight curve here, before I did permanently install it, I did soak that section about two and a half foot worth in hot water only for maybe a minute in a tub just dunked it in there ran some hot water dunked it in there held it under for a couple minutes a minute and a half and then let it drip dry and bent it in there let it set for like a half hour and started screwing it in just to help ease and maintain that curve I went all the way to this road, red post. I'll hold off on the rest of it for now. I'll just make wiring and installing uh, the switches and everything a little bit more easy if that face is off. But this part I did need to kind of get in there just so I can start attaching some scenery to it. Gotta get those mountains going. That was pretty cool. Tunnel dunking in there. Got the river going up that way, minus the hot glue gun in the middle. Stone portal. That's Woodland Scenics. I got that off of eBay. Great buy. Got a bunch of these portals actually off of eBay. <clears throat> it's looking good. You know, to help maintain the height of the bottom so it's consistent I'm by myself pretty much I made this jig here three foot tall 36 inches to this point which I decided that's uh, the bottom of the uh, fascia I just rested on there I made these feet so that I could kind of wedge it because of these tight curves, there's almost like a, an extra hand or two. I shove it underneath, kick it under with my foot, hold the rest of it with my hip, and start screwing in. What I did use was finish washers and just some drywall screws. They screwed into that. Those outriggers. This section here, you can see there's a seam. I just ran three on each side. I overlaid the pieces and used some spring clamps, clamping them together. Used a small trim saw, circular saw, cut them simultaneously so that the pieces matched, and then I just put a glue or backer board behind it. These uh, finish washers really hold it in place, work really well. Once it's painted, I think that'll hide in pretty well. You won't see it at all. Starting to get dressed up.